Now in this video we are going to discuss an example from permutations and combination specifically the factorial problems. The question is if n plus 2 factorial is equal to 2 5 5 0 times n factorial find n. So we have been given n plus 2 factorial is equal to 2 5 5 0 times n factorial. Now we bring all the n terms on one side. So we just transfer n factorial over here onto the left hand side. So therefore we get n plus 2 factorial divided by n factorial is equal to 2 5 5 0. Now out of these two n plus 2 factorial is a higher value so we split this up to n factorial. So we break this down up to n factorial. So we get n plus 2 and if we subtract 1 this becomes n plus 1 and again if we subtract 1 we have reached n factorial divided by n factorial and that is equal to 2 5 5 0. Now we could cancel out n factorial. So what we have is we have n plus 2 into n plus 1 is equal to 2 5 5 0. Now this is a very interesting arrangement if you see. Here we have two factors in descending order with a difference of 1. Right? There is a difference of 1 in these two factors and they are written in descending order. Likewise, we can have a similar arrangement on the right hand side. See, 2, 5, 5, 0 could be factorized as 51 into 50. See, again we can get two factors, right, with a difference of 1 and in descending order. So, we replace 2, 5, 5, 0 by 51 into 50. So, we have n plus 2 into n plus 1 is equal to 51 into 50. Now if such arrangement is not possible then we need to solve this entire quadratic equation but fortunately we have such an arrangement on both sides. Two factors, two factors, descending order, descending order, difference of 1, difference of 1. So we have exactly the same arrangement on both sides. So now what is left is just mere comparison. So therefore we could say by comparison we could easily obtain n. Now what do we compare? Either you take the first factor equal to first one or you could equate the second factor with the second factor. So let us equate the first factors. So we have n plus 2 is equal to 51. So from here we obtain the value of n as 51 minus 2. So that is equal to 49. Now we could also equate the second with the second factor. See if n plus 1 is equated to 50. Again we will get the same answer as n equal to 49. 